Hello, everyone. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Mary Bubala. President Trump discussed several issues, including the economy, international relations, and border security. It comes after the president was forced to postpone Tuesday night's speech after a 35 day government shutdown. And WJZ is live. Kenneth Craig's live on Capitol Hill with tonight's address. Kenneth? Well, good evening to you from Capitol Hill, where the president tried to strike a very different tone this evening. He opened his address with themes of unity aimed at bringing a very divided government back together. Madam Speaker, the President of the United States. President Trump urged Republicans and Democrats to come together during his second official State of the Union address. Victory is not winning for our party. Victory is winning for our country. The president discussed foreign policy matters like Venezuela and Syria during his address and announced plans for a two day summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong un. Chairman Kim and I will meet again on February 27th and 28th in Vietnam. With the threat of another government shutdown looming, Mr. Trump pressed for more funding for border security. Simply put, walls work and walls save lives. The president used his invited guests to highlight some of his biggest priorities, including immigration and criminal justice reform. Many Democrats in the chamber wore white in support of women, including House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who sat directly behind the president. We also have more women serving in Congress than at any time before. The president also made an apparent reference to the Russia investigation. An economic miracle is taking place in the United States, and the only thing that can stop it are foolish wars, politics, or ridiculous partisan investigations. And called on Congress to pass legislation to lower prescription drug prices. And in a breach of protocol tonight, the president of the United States essentially jumped the gun and started delivering his speech without a formal introduction by Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. It's unclear whether or not that was intentional or perhaps an oversight. I'm Kenneth Craig reporting live on Capitol Hill. Now back over to you.